Hello guys, and welcome to Breaking Oblivion. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to take the Emperor's Assassin and make him your own personal henchman. This can happen. Anyway, um, I believe this is the one of the only ways to do it. Uh, you need to be on PC, by the way, unless you can bring him back to life on consoles, which... Let me know if you can, because that would be very interesting to know. Anyway, um, the easiest way to get this to happen is to uh, go for the wall, save the Emperor's life, and get him like this. Uh, you can do it, you know, following the script of the story. However, it's a bit more tricky because Boris tries to kill him the moment you bring him back to life. Anyway, so what you do is you go through here, and uh, simply, you kill him. He is dead. Oh. You go back through. Behold, Talos save us. Oh no, the Emperor's dead! Boris! Uh, he fail. Yeah, he'll say he's failed. You go through. I'll just go for all this. So, I am a experienced archer. Yes, very much so. I thought so. Yep, uh... Good. I'll... Bye. Okay, so what will happen now is, uh... The assassin is essentially done. His script is done. Probably should, uh... Turn back on my collision, so he finally falls to the ground. Okay. So, uh, his, his mission is done. The Emperor is essentially dead. Apparently. And, uh, he has no purpose in life. Yet, if I bring him back to life using the command, Resurrect... He is just gonna do this. He's gonna follow me. And he will never stop following me. Ever. He is now your own personal henchman. You can talk to him as well. Go ahead, please. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. You too. And he will follow you everywhere you go. You have now got an assassin henchman. I will show him in combat. Uh, but how I believe this is, is... For some reason, Bethesda decided to give uh, the assassin this specific code. Assassin picked uh, package travel. This means he travels with you. I don't know how that works, and I'll show you other examples in this, but that's how you get the assassin. Stay tuned to find out what this guy does. He's not as useful as you probably think, though. So, uh, take the key, go through. Let's go into the sewer. And there he is. You know, he's still following me. He walks everywhere, though. That... That kind of limits his uses already, because he kind of just walks around everywhere. He is cool, though. It's very intimidating. So what will happen is, um... This rat attacks me. He won't do anything. I'll show you when he actually sprints into action. Uh... But for this, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Take out my shaman staff, and then... Zap! No, I'll just kill. It's so much easier to just kill. Okay. So you know, you go through all this. You, you take him around, ignore all the DLC that I've got. He'll follow you out. There's a rat. Come hither. Come with me, assassin. You, you have been reborn. Meron Dagon is not your god. I'm your god. Whoever my name is, whoever I created. And this rat? Oh, he can't open doors. I thought he could open doors. Anyway, he will follow me because I'm his lord. This has got to be within a certain proximity to you, uh, to you for him to actually uh, follow you out of doors. So, I will wait here. Bear with me, I will show you the potential uses of this man. When he eventually gets around here. That should be close enough. Uh, okay, exit sewer. Okay. So you're free. You have your assassin. Now, what is this? God damn it! He wasn't close enough, was he? Ready? Okay. There he is. 
So, what you will do is you will drag him over here. Also, I find it funny that I can use this staff underwater. Oh wait, no I can't. I find it funny though that I can swim a sword perfectly well underwater. Anyway, so he will follow me across the river. <laughs> there he is! Come on, man! Swim! Swim, Emperor's Assassin! They'll never know you did it, even though he's kind of alive. So, what will happen is you'll take him, and, uh, you know, you'll go up to bandits. Hello? Hello? Assassin? Okay. Don't know what happened there. Got stuck on a rock. But he will continue to follow me, and I will get these men to attack. And they should, in theory, go for him. And bam! You've got your own henchman! He will fight your battles with you! This ends here! Because uh, he is your bodyguard, he is recognized as your companion, and people like bandits and everyone will attack him. Of course he needs a bit, a bit of healing, you know. He is the Emperor's assassin, and he's not... He's tougher than the average assassin that you would fight in uh, there, but he's not particularly tough. But he's a... He's quite a half-decent companion, you know, to have. I say that as he probably gets killed right now. Go get him! Show me your usefulness! Oh, he's dead. Don't worry. You can bring him back. As soon as I kill him. Uh, there we go. Bring him back to life as many times as you like. He will come back and be your companion. So, that is how you get your Emperor's Assassin Companion. Not particularly useful, but it's good for a gimmick. By the way, if I bring him back, he has complete, uh, completely different packages, you can see here. So his Bandit Bowman picked Package Wanderer. So for some reason, they didn't actually make him a Wanderer. He's not supposed to wander around. He has a set goal. But what that means is, he follows you around. I'm sure there's what other it, people Sam? that do Die, the exact same thing. Damn you! Anyway, let's have this epic showdown go! Well, thanks for watching another episode of Breaking Oblivion. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you now have got your assassin guy of dreams. What can I do? We'll follow you and tell you about rumors. I don't like to think about zombies. Missing arms, legs, heads. They smell awful. And they're hard to kill. They are. Let's, yep. let's chat. But anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to try and woo uh, my assassin friend here. And I will see you next time when... What nonsense. Sorry. He doesn't particularly like me. Uh, so thanks for watching. What a and hero. I'll see you next time. Later.